The Wind of Hope community-based program in Isiolo, northern Kenya, has been working with communities affected by HIV and AIDS for over 17 years. 200 community volunteers reach out to over 5,000 people living in extreme poverty. The program acts as the primary center point, providing support to people most in need. Many of the women live very far away in the desert areas, without much opportunity to come together as a large group. Introducing painting to the workshops opened a window into the touching use of both imagination and life experience. <laughs> Kuna ako na mawazo mingi sana ya kufikiria, sasa mimi ni mewanjeka. Maana, hata zangu wakati ya merajisi wako hivyo, anesikia uchofu katika mwini. Kwe na muuma, hiya majoni na muuma, na magoti ya zinamiroka. Amejihiti ya muuma, hako na jumisi ya ukini, anafikiria maisha ya mwazo ya. As an artist, I've chosen this degree because I have seen the value of being true to people's stories. And with an interest in ethnography, it is my hope that I can truly become a valuable member of the society I have chosen to be my home and help some of their stories be shared with the world. I know you can understand something of this. Through being in Isiolo over the last few years, I have watched the violence and displacement increase. And this has greatly affected our community center points, with women and children being forced to leave their homes and being constantly on the move. We are really in a lot of uncertainty at the moment and are unsure of what the future lies. With the proposed development of a road from South Sudan to Lamu, a resort city is now worth billions of dollars and is on the cards. This is really causing a lot of greed among the different political groups and tribal groups. And unfortunately now with a lot of manipulation and with the finding of oil, we are really in a great predicament of not knowing what will come next. But as Tumaini continues to be the heartbeat of the community, with the backbone still so strong, we are able now, with the Tumaini Senior School, to offer a centre of preparedness for this town. And it is our hope that our children, when they leave, after joining the graduate programme, will leave with skills where they are able to become self-reliant a lot quicker and be able to become providers and creative shapers in the community. This year, Tumaini Senior School has been greatly affected by the ongoing violence from 2011. It is thanks to the courage and commitment of our mother care volunteers that we are able to continue, slowly but consistently, enrolling new children from the villages in our centre points. Day-to-day -day school life has also been greatly affected as the clashes come very close and at times even into the compound, creating confusion and uncertainty among the staff and the children. from violence and conflict. 